been a while since we've taken a look at my house and the updates that I've been working on. So I thought we'd take a little bit of time today and revisit the room that we affectionately call the fireside room. It's taken on many different looks over the last few years. It's an awkward space because it's basically a glorified hallway. And so when you have those kinds of rooms, you need to focus on leaving the pathway the way it needs to be. And you want 36 inches wide, everywhere you need to walk. And then really bulk up the corner spots that aren't considered part of the walkway. That's the secret to this type of room. So today I would love to take you along as I figure out the wall decorations. And I've been collecting them for a long time, lots of thrifting, lots of holding on to family photos and things. So let's first of all, take a look at my recent trip to my favorite antique mall and see what I got there. And then we'll meet back here and we'll look at all of it together and look at what our options are and then we'll get it all styled. So I was raised on a cattle ranch. My dad is an organic beef farmer, among other things. And so I have a soft spot in my heart for cows. I actually had my own herd and that's how I paid for college. So anytime I see a painting of a cow, I'm in. And this is a calendar from 1910. My house is built in 1906. And so I just loved, I loved the cows, I loved the water, I loved the colors. I loved that it was a 1910 calendar. And speaking of cows, I did find one more picture at that antique mall and I paid $90 for this. The calendar was about 10, I think. So I loved that it has the blues and greens and the dark wood. And I loved that the cow was cream because I feel like that'll look really nice on my walls and just bring out the cream touches in the room. So kind of be thinking along those lines when you are shopping. All right, and then the last thing I found was this cute little set of frames. And I think these were $10. This is a frame that I used to have. It's plastic. Clearly I like this style because I keep picking them up when I'm out. So anyway, three little frames. Thought it might be good for filler if I need. And speaking of filler, I have 12 vintage art prints that you can download for free. Go to 12vintageartprints.com and I will send those to you via email. So you may or may not see those pop up on my wall. Just I'll just see how much I need, but they are there for you if you would like. I found this, oh, price tag's still on it. So I, I found this at Goodwill for $3 in the past and haven't really gotten it styled up in this room, but I loved the frame, oh my goodness. And I loved, I just loved the coloring of it. So this is an option for the gallery wall. All right, these are just filler pieces. No real emotional attachment to these, but I have three of these frames and they're just Nancy Drew book pages that are crammed in there. I've had them on my wall forever. I might need them, we'll see. I also have a mirror that I could use. This is a family heirloom, so 
I loved the frame and the mat, and then of course it's nice that I know these people. This may go on the wall. More family photos. This is my dad's side, and I love that they're just all sitting around it's, and it's at Christmas. I wanted to frame it, and it, if I don't use it on the gallery wall, I would really like it in my Christmas decorations. Another Christmas photo, this is on my mom's side. This is when my grandfather was in the military. This is World War II, and he and the other soldiers are celebrating Christmas in Portland, Oregon, so this is special. Again, if I don't use this in the gallery wall, I think it will make a great Christmas decoration to have. And then I love this one. I bought this in Michigan when I was at a blogger retreat. God bless our home. I love the colors and I love the font. So this also would look very nice on my piano. So we'll see which one wins up. So that is the bulk of my artwork that I'm working with. I also think it's a good idea to grab some 3D items. I found this brush that maybe will be cute. I have a transferware platter. Just wanna bring in a few pieces to bring in some interest. And this is really my favorite piece. This is so simple. This is a number for house number. I got it at Home Depot. I bought the four because I have four children. And then we just did rub and buff. This is a cute touch. And it's a really fun conversation starter to mix into a gallery wall. Like why that number? Now you know. Okay, so we got that done. As always, decorating is a process. You probably noticed with those last pictures that I did end up not using some things that I thought I was gonna use, and I brought in some other things that I did have on hand. So I had that tray that's hanging on the wall with the Victorian black and white scene. I had this little picture of my aunt with her two kittens. I pulled that out. I have the hanging glass frame with the, the piano music on there, that reminds me of my mom. Actually, everything that I put up in on these walls is very sentimental. There's a story behind everything. I did print out two of the pieces of art from the 12vintageartprints.com that I told you about, and I shrunk them down really tiny. I love the one, the little farm scene that I shrunk down really tiny, and put it in one of those little frames that I got at the antique mall. Looks so Italian, I'm really happy with it. And then I love photography and it's part of my job and my life. And so I framed the vintage camera. All right, I hope you got some inspiration there. If you're interested in more information on how to decorate walls, after you sign up for the 12 vintage art prints, you will be given the option to join my latest masterclass and I hope to see you there. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care, I'll talk to you soon.